Over the past few years, the U.S. military has increased its activities and broadened its mission in Africa. In Niger, the U.S. Air Force has a new huge base from which it launches its drone operations across Africa. But what is this all about? I mean, what's the need for all this in these dry deserts? Welcome to Africa under 4 minutes. This is everything explained in under 4 minutes. If you are new to the channel, please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every day. Deep in the Sahara, the CIA is continuing to conduct a secret drone flight from a small but steadily expanding airbase which costed the US government over 280 million US dollars to construct. Even though they claim that this base is owned by this company, Africom, but for more context, the full meaning of this company is the United States Africa Command, a US-owned military defense company headquartered in Germany. Until the recent military takeover in July 2023, Niger had played a key role in the security architecture of the West, particularly the United States and France, in the Sahel region. This base is in Agadez, Niger, officially known as Base Ariane 201, known locally as Base American. It was built at a price tag of 280 million US dollars and maintained at a tune of 20 to 30 million US dollars each year. A Base 201 is claimed to serve as a Sahelian surveillance hub that is home to over a thousand U.S. Space Force personnel involved in high-tech satellite communications, Joint Force Special Operations, Air Detachment Facilities, and fleet of drones, including armed MQ-9 rapers that saw the surrounding region day and night for terrorism surveillance. This is one of the reasons why Niger had a relatively secure environment, but that did not stop a violent armed activities to a large extent in this country. The locals complained of rampant and increasing insecurity. They expressed this belief that the American technology could provide more safety and said that the US was doing little to help those living beyond the base borders. In their words, the Americans have drones, they have planes, they have sophisticated equipment, but that's not helping. And one of the main reasons for these incessant coups in West Africa is the failure of the government to tackle the issues of insecurity in these countries. However, the military coups in Mali in 2020 and 2021, in Guinea in 2021, Burkina Faso in 2022, and most recently Niger in 2023, has raised questions about the strategy behind the large-scale military engagements of the US and France in these countries. So the big question is, what is the essence of this military base and the claimed daily Sahel surveillance if they cannot tackle the issue of insecurity in these areas? Well, that's for you to think of. Thanks for watching today's Africa. Please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every day.